FreshBooks has the entire freelancer accounting pipeline covered, including time tracking, project management, proposals, estimates, invoices, retainers, payments, expense tracking, reports like balance sheets and profit and loss. And that's why I was attracted to it when I was first setting up Vertical River. It was one simple tool that did almost everything we needed. Overall, it's a nice looking interface and user friendly on the surface, which they achieve by taking out some of the more complex options from the interface. And it's very comfortable to use. I felt like I could do my company's books by using their tool, and that gave me a lot of confidence. But a few months into our third year business, things started to change. More on that next. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kendrick Dish, and on this show, we explore the tools that help me get things done. That might be software, it might be hardware, it might be tech, and it might even be processes. Basically, all the things it takes to run multiple businesses as a creative professional. Today, we're talking about FreshBooks and why, after two years of usage, I've decided to move on. Now, keep in mind, switching your entire accounting over to something new is a tough, tedious, time-consuming task. So I don't take pleasure in doing this hot swap. It is not fun, but it was necessary. So let's get into the good part of my experience. Managing, billing, and invoicing with FreshBooks is a simple task. I felt confident creating proposals and invoices using FreshBooks, and I felt confident my clients would feel good about getting them. I liked that I could easily convert a proposal into an invoice, and I liked that it was easy to add the option to allow credit card payments. I do wish they had an option to automatically add 3% to the invoice if the client chose to pay via credit card. As it is now, it's a manual process, and a line item needs to be created on the invoice, and it's just a bit of a pain. So I usually absorb the fee, even though sometimes it can be a ton of money. While the invoices and proposals worked quite well, I also really wanted to have many more options for layout. They had two layouts, and they, they recently added a third, but they're not really very customizable except for the logo, and even that, you couldn't change the size. Another annoying thing is that the page sometimes would get split in non-user friendly ways, and there was nothing you could do about it. The retainer function worked pretty well, but it was dependent on hours, when instead, I wish it was just an amount that wasn't attached to hours because some clients, it's more about deliverables and not hours, as is the case with some of my clients. The best thing is they have fantastic customer service. A human picks up the phone when you call customer service and the person that answers the phone knows the software well enough to help without needing to transfer you. That was very comforting. And I called them for something several times a year and they were always very friendly and very helpful and very fast. Now let's talk about the problems. Credit card payments are really difficult to figure out and how to classify so they aren't counted as an expense again. I had several issues with numbers not adding up. It was only after a while of digging did I find that both the original expense and the credit card payment were both being counted as expenses. It was a bit of user error, but still quite aggravating. I think that interface could be improved. The accountant I use, who's had a long career in accounting, gave it a good effort to use and understand how to use FreshBooks to pull data but she kept running into limitations. She wasn't anti-FreshBooks, but she did question me why I was using them more than once. My best answer is that, well, they're user-friendly. Not good enough. When it came time to file our 2020 taxes, she was pulling some reports from FreshBooks and finding that some categories weren't pulling in the correct data, which was making the reports inaccurate. If I had been taking these reports to an investor or attempting to get a loan, I would have been giving them false information, and that is a very serious issue. I'm not saying FreshBooks had bad calculations, I'm just saying they were presenting incomplete data according to my accountant. Now, this is word for word the email that my accountant sent me to explain this. She goes, I went over the records I have for 2020 and the 1231-2020 balance sheet from FreshBooks is not accurate and I'm not able to prepare your tax return from this statement. The beginning balance of equity plus net income should equal the ending balance, but that does not appear. Not all the accounts appear on the general ledger or the trial balance. I reached out to support and shared this email with them and got connected to an accounting support specialist. 
and she was willing to dive deep and really help out. I ended up having multiple hour long support calls where my accountant and a FreshBooks support staff were trying to get things fixed. I had to pay my accountant for that time. And I was on the line too with them the whole time. So that's a lot of hours used up on, on this problem. Now I'll say that FreshBooks was very willing to spend as long as needed helping us to get the data we needed and explain why their reports work the way they do. Now ultimately after having conversations with my accountant, we are now in the process of switching all the books over to QuickBooks. It's a little more expensive and less inspiring to use, but I'm looking for the least friction when it comes to helping my accountant help me have better financial management. If she wants me to move away from FreshBooks, I'm gonna take her advice. I think if I had to summarize my thoughts after being a FreshBooks user for more than two years, I'd say it's pretty great for a solopreneur just getting started. It streamlines a lot of things and gives you a simple user-friendly interface to get started in managing your company financials. However, I think Vertical River has matured out of the more simplistic nature of the tool. I'm not bashing it. I do have a lot of admiration for what they do, but it's time for me to graduate to QuickBooks and embrace more complex financial management that my accountant knows and understands how to use. So what do you guys think? What do you use for accounting what do you use for proposals and invoices? I'd love to hear from you in the comments about your experiences with this side of the business. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.